Hello everyone. This video is going to cover the use for of THC for anxiety. Uh, we're also going to talk about CBD and anxiety and just some other things we should know about using cannabis for anxiety, but those are going to be separate videos. So this will be kind of a mini series. Um, so it can be really complicated when we're talking about using THC for anxiety because many cannabinoids, including THC, exhibit what we call a bi- phasic effect on the body. So by meaning two phases, right? So this, this also happens with CBD, but not in the realm of anxiety. That's more in the realm of sleep and some other conditions. Uh, and it's really not that weird of a concept to think about a biphasic response, uh, because what it's saying is that at low doses, THC is going to cause one reaction in your body, and then at high doses, it's going to cause something completely different. So what this means in the realm of THC, it means that if you're taking a low dose of THC, and we're going to talk about how to dose it later, if you're taking a low dose of THC, this can actually help relieve anxiety. So it's going to be called an anxiolytic response. It can help remove or relieve that anxious feeling. But if you take a high dose of THC, that can actually cause you to have anxiety, meaning it's anxiogenic. It's actually producing anxiety. So this is why dosing is so, so important with cannabis as medicine. You know, if you went to a doctor and you asked for an anxiety medication and they gave you Zoloft, they prescribed you Zoloft, they're not just going to say, yeah, take this when you feel things. You know, they're going to say, okay, take this amount of Zoloft this many times a day with food, without food, etc. It has to be really specific so it's predictable and it's actually doing the right thing in your body. Um, so let's review like what a low dose of THC is or what a high dose of THC is. Um, and this can be different for different people and based on the administration method you're using. So what I mean by that is if you're, if you're someone who doesn't use cannabis every day or even often at all, or maybe you've never used it, you're not going to have a tolerance, meaning that it might take actually less cannabis or THC to make you feel a certain way versus someone who's seasoned in THC and cannabis and they've been using it for 20 years and their brain is accustomed to that. So if I was someone who's just starting out with THC and cannabis, first you want to make sure you actually know how much THC is in the product that you're using. This can be easy if you're at a dispensary uh, because the dispensary, usually they're going to be like cubes of 10 milligrams. And if you already know that there's 10 milligrams in a little chocolate square, you could cut that in half and have 5 milligrams. Or you could cut that in quarters and have 2.5 milligrams. What I would always recommend people do is start with the lowest dose possible to feel effects. So uh, for someone who's completely new to cannabis, that could be as low as 2.5 milligrams. Um, but also keep in mind that edibles affect people differently. So what you'll need to do is what we call titrating your dose. So that means, you know, start with 2.5 milligrams of an edible and say, you know, keep notes, keep notes. Say, I bought this edible at this dispensary. I took 2.5 milligrams. This is how it made me feel. Did I feel anything at all? Um, and if you didn't feel anything at all, maybe you go to five milligrams. Then you take a five. This is a completely different day. Don't, don't keep compounding your doses on the same day. It might take a week for you to find that dose. Then you take five milligrams that next time and you say, did I feel anything this time? Am I feeling good? Am I feeling bad, etc.? cetera? Um, you want to write down everything that's happening because don't trust your brain to remember anything, especially when it comes to cannabis. Um, so for me, uh, and I use cannabis every single day, uh, but for me, a low dose of THC is going to be five milligrams. I know that from taking many, many, many cannabis edibles over time. I know that five milligrams is totally my happy place. If I were to take 20 milligrams, which I've done before, that's when I start feeling anxious. That's where my anxiogenic starts beginning. Whereas if I take 
five milligrams, I'm still feeling really good and I can feel that I'm less anxious. So dose absolutely matters when we're talking about THC. Um, and so we'll talk about CBD dosing in a whole nother video, but that I was just talking about dosing edibles. Dosing when you're smoking could be very different. Uh, some people prefer to smoke joints or some people prefer to smoke a bong or a bowl. I personally would not recommend that you combine nicotine with, um, with THC or cannabis uh, as medicine when we're talking about anxiety because then we're just adding in other factors. I would keep it as uh, simple as possible and I would also make sure if you're looking for flour for a strain to use or if you're using um, an edible, you want to make sure that you're getting a really diverse profile of cannabinoids in that product. So what I mean is when you're looking, for instance, at an edible, I would look for products uh, that are made with the whole plant extract, meaning it's not made with distillate and it's not made with isolate. If it's made with distillate or isolate, that's gonna be just mainly THC that they're putting into the edible when they're cooking it. And the CBD can actually help protect our brain from getting too overstimulated by THC. That will be a whole nother video, but what for what you need to know right now is that CBD is helping protect your brain from being overstimulated and that anxiogenic effect, when you actually start getting anxiety from using cannabis, it comes from that overstimulation of your neurotransmitters. Um, so I would highly recommend, if you're looking for flour, look for something with a profile that's like 15% THC, 8% CBD, something in that range. I would look for something above 1% CBD. And then for edibles, that's a lot harder to control, but um, you want to look for edibles that are made with the whole plant extract rather than an isolate or a distillate, as I just mentioned. Um, when you get to flour, the dosing can be a little more difficult because it's not really cut and dry in milligrams. So if I was writing down how I was taking that medicine in flour form, I would, you know, depending on your consumption method, it doesn't need to be completely exact. You could say, this is the, this is the strain or, or cultivar of cannabis that I'm using in this case. Um, I smoked a half of a joint. Write down how that made you feel. Or I took two puffs off of a joint and write down how that makes you feel. And maybe instead of titrating by taking, uh, like, by doubling or et cetera, you could say, okay, I started with four puffs of this joint, made me feel, it made me feel good, but I think I need a little more. The next time you can take six puffs off that joint, et cetera. It's not going to be as exact, but again, we're just trying to record how it makes us feel and understand in general what a low dose is to us. Okay. So I hope this helps anyone who's starting to use cannabis for anxiety. Please comment questions below and I would love to answer them.